Alrighty, so I know these may not be the most exciting videos you've ever seen, but I kind of like doing them, so we're going to kind of use them as like almost filler videos uh, whenever there's not a whole lot of stuff going on. And we get artifact cards pretty frequently, I feel like. They give out a decent amount of them, so it's not hard for me to make these. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of cards that I'm looking for specifically. Um, obviously, anything that I can get to finish a set, so Sacred, uh, Sacred Land Istal would be great. Um, I still really need uh, this Jericho right here, if possible, and then uh, I actually, I think you have to buy that one from the uh, the shop in, uh, or the PvP shop. So, um, Fairy Mage would be great, uh, Hawk's Mama Rear View would be great, either of these would be great, and then really I'm looking for Ruin. So if we can get Ruin, who is a rare card, or Jericho, who is an SR card, which isn't crazy, uh, actually I'll open up these really quick because I keep forgetting to, uh, nice, not what I wanted, uh, and then open these two from the Brawl event going on right now. Both hammers, okay. Uh, anyway, we've got a pretty decent amount of cards. Like I said, they give them out pretty often. Plus you can buy them from the shop. Um, I've been trying to get as many of these scene pack cards as possible, um, but we'll kind of see how it goes. So like I said, if we can get Jericho or Ruin, that would be fantastic. Uh, we've got Elizabeth on the run, that is new. Uh, Wrath versus Envy, which is new actually. Kind of, Kind of happy about that. All right, that's that is Sacred Land to stall, but not the one that we were looking for actually. Uh, Unconscious Melee, we already have that, unfortunately. Enter the Lightning King, already have it. Um, I like <laughs> I like this ale the best. It's kind of a cool scene from season two. Uh, Fairy Warrior, what was it? We needed Fairy Mage. Uh, Enter the Lightning King again. And then last up we have the True Fairy King, which unfortunately I already had. We have 17 of these packs. I think uh, SR Jericho is in these packs if I'm not mistaken, so hopefully we can try to at least pull something new out of these. Um, all right, there's Captain Slater. That's an SR, could have been Jericho, but we aren't that lucky. Uh, Boss Day Prison, we already have that one, unfortunately. Uh, this Solod card is actually really good. I think it has all three stats on it, which is kind of nice. So it's one of the better cards that I've gotten. Um, I actually use it on a couple of my teams. So if you can get that Solod card, definitely look into trying to use that. But yeah. All right. We have Corrind. I already have that, unfortunately. Another deathmatch loading screen. Uh, Leonis Castle Interior. That is at least new, so that's nice. Uh, Alioni, kind of cool. We need Ruin, though. Uh, we already have that. Come on, now. Fort Solgris is a rare, but we already have it. Poste Prison again. Uh, Zanari, uncommon, but we already have it. Uh, hey, we did actually get Sacred Land to stall. That's actually pretty hype. I, th I think that was the only one we needed for that one set. Uh, we'll check after this, but we'll go ahead and open all of our packs up. Uh, there's an <laughs> another one, okay. Uh, new interior for the tavern. It's a new card at least. Uh, another Boss Day Prison card, unfortunately. Egg Rock again, we just pulled that like a couple of cards ago. And then another Egg Rock. Alright, this is Sacred or scene, scene Pack 1. What do we got? Oh, we actually pulled the Visal card. Okay. So to... Oh, okay, so it lets you know when you finish the set. That's actually awesome. Sweet, okay, so now I don't have to, I don't think I have to buy that card from the, the shop anymore, which is kind of nice. Uh, this one has some SR cards in it, not the ones that I'm particularly looking for, but obviously uh, any SR card would be kind of nice. Fossilization, we already have. Uh, Gother of Selflessness, we already have. Memories of Nausea, already have. Uh, Goddess Amber, getting a lot of dupes here. I may have already gotten a decent amount of the cards out of the set. I don't think I have any of the SRs though. Uh, Meliodas Returns, okay, we got something new. 
Another Memories of Nausea. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Fighters of the Arena. We already have that. I would like to get Lion vs. Pride. That would be really a really cool one to get. I don't necessarily know if it's a good one. Serious King. That's great artwork. Uh, Unconscious Melee. Uh, hey! Oh, it's Love versus Pride, not uh, Lion versus Pride. Uh, chapter 12 story card. It does not have defense, but it does have a decent amount of attack and HP. So, hey, I mean, we pulled the one that uh, I kind of wanted. Hey, and another SR. Okay, so we've got Priestess, uh, Druid Priestess Blood, Awakening of the Druid Priestess's Blood. Okay, so that one's not the best. I prefer the ones that have HP on them, but it is what it is. Uh, this is the one that has Cluximus in it. Obviously, I'm not expecting anything here because uh, it's a really, really low chance. Uh, we did pull a blue demon, though. Okay, that's not bad. He has decent HP. No attack, though, so I really doubt I used that card. But it is what it is. I'm really just looking for that one Jericho card, but I just cannot seem to get lucky enough. Uh, new cards, though. Those are always nice. Always welcome. Uh, we have a Marmus. And then last but not least... We have a Jude rip. I was hoping that was going to be a ruin. Alrighty, well, let's look at our artifact sets really quickly. We did clear a couple of, uh, or I think we finished one set, yeah? Guardian of Istal. Uh, so now, if any, or if an ally is debuffed from a skill during an enemy's turn, restores 1% of their max HP, excludes PvP and deathmatch. So, only a PvP set, unfortunately. Um, I don't really have any other things that I can really uh, spin these on so I think we're just going to power these up really quickly uh, oh you can only use 30 cards at a time I guess 500,000 gold that's honestly uh, a little bit more expensive than I was expecting it to be ooh those are very expensive All right. Either way, I can uh, I can do more of this off camera if need be, but that's pretty much it. I mean, honestly, not the greatest set to have completed, but you know, uh, we did get a couple of new cards, so I really can't complain too much. Um, but yeah, not bad. Honestly, at least we got something done this this time. Uh, the last two card openings were not the greatest, a little uneventful. I have to be honest with you, but. Uh, yeah, honestly, pretty cool. This one's also really neat. Uh, increases allies' damage taken from ultimate moves by 2% in elite PvP. And obviously, you can upgrade those. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it upgrades to because it doesn't tell you unless you're actually going to upgrade the card. Uh, but I'm assuming it maybe goes up to like 5 maybe 6% or something like that. I can't be like super crazy because I don't think the cards are designed to be that way. But uh, I'm pretty glad that they give out a decent amount of these cards. So uh, it's just something kind of fun and extra to do. But that's uh, pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If not, you know, <laughs> sorry. But uh, yeah, see you later.